Big Rock. Yeah. Hello, this is not a spring chicken. One of the things you might have noticed. Oh, wait a minute. It's been a big deal here in Southern California. Although I thought it would have hit more of the national news, and that was the big rock is now in place. A 340 ton rock that moves through the streets of LA is now in place over at the LA County Museum of Art. But if that's not enough to feel, make you feel weighted down, well, women, we now find out that Obama's affordable health care is aimed towards you, but not towards the men. Hmm. I wonder what he's saying to male voters. Well, for now, we're going to bring on Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. Morning, y'all. Romney seeks acceptance in the South. They don't like the guy. Okay, he cannot win. The only, like I pointed out again today, the only Southern state he's won so far was a state he was the only person on the ballot in that, that, I mean, that ran in the state, and he almost lost it. I mean, Ron Paul almost beat him in a state Ron Paul put no money into, which is, they did, they did not, okay, the, the uh, Attorney General of the state of Virginia and the Governor of the state of Virginia are uh, Rob, Romney campaign leaders. They basically jury-rigged the whole thing so that, Mitt, uh, that so Duke Gingrich, who lives in Virginia, couldn't get on the ballot. You, that's impossible. They all know it's impossible. And the Attorney General is fighting it in court. But, you know, since the, uh, the primary is over, it doesn't do any good. When the court's got a rule that they had no legal grounds to throw out the votes, because you know that, he, okay, it is a physical impossibility not to get enough votes in every district in the state. Mm -hmm. But supposedly, they didn't get enough signatures in every single district. And the, and the whole trick was, it was the same signature on everything that they said was uh, not legal. And Afghanistan and U.S. signed prison transfer deal. Which means Obama is basically, he, he's turning the people back out to fight, you know, fight the war against the Americans, which it, it makes no sense. You get, well, they said, we're not going to, we're not going to fight anymore. Well, yeah, that, that doesn't work that way. They'll come back and they'll cut your throat. And January trade gap widens as imports hit record high. Oh, yeah. But it's basically... We're spending more money than we have, but the economy is roaring because it's all on debit cards and stuff. I mean, mm -hmm. these people don't have the money to pay for what they're importing. And Italy condemns botched British raid in Nigeria. Yeah, because they got it, it, everybody was killed before the before the troops hit the ground. They killed everybody because somebody seemed to have tipped off the people in Nigeria what was happening, Ooh. which is why you don't tell government leaders that you're going to do something because they'll. They'll leak it to whomever they think they can curry favors with. I mean, I was watching last night a thing that I was in, God, it was 46 years ago, on it, it Takes a Thief, and um, Robert Wagner made a mistake of telling a government official what he was planning to do, and uh, he was then arrested where he was at because the government official leaked it to his people, and then his people leaked it to other people, uh -huh. and they were waiting for him when he showed up. And Morgan Stanley, banker pleads not guilty in cab driver assault. I know. I mean, okay, this gets to be, I mean, first of all, um, they're, on, they're on the backs of everybody on Wall Street. There's nothing you can do anymore. Uh, and, okay, it, it's, what's going to happen is the people on Wall Street are going to leave this country and open up shop elsewhere. Why do you think they're in such big hurries to merge with all these, all these things out of this nation? You're going to look, the Chicago Mercantile is getting ready to go bye-bye. The NASDAQ, all these things are going to leave New York and they're going to go to like Hong Kong or Singapore or somebody else, somewhere else, where they can conduct business without the fear of, uh, the, of, the, of the President of the United States having you thrown in a jail cell for doing your job. And Apple's next iPad may be a 4G game changer. Okay, this is still, this is, what is it, four days afterwards and nobody has still seen the thing except in, uh, you know, in the presentation. I mean, there used to be, Apple used to hold presentations and they give all the press people the items to do, you know, play with. Mm -hmm. Now they bring a thing and put it up on a, a Microsoft, which is funny, they use a, my, I use a PowerPoint program to yeah. show you what they're doing. I already uh -huh. have that. Uh huh. Isn't that always good? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, and um, well, and the other part I noticed about this this last iPad is iPad is mainly in the tech news. 
usually it's been in a lot of the consumer news. But it's not it's not the game changer. They still yeah. haven't added the features that the other basically they're trying to catch up to the tablet. And they shouldn't be catching up to the tablet. And they, they still don't do they still don't do flash, they don't do Adobe, and you can't call out on the thing. And news Japan warns and grapples with tsunami aftermath. But yeah, I mean this is that was a long time ago. I mean, it's just like, if it's Sunday, there's no real news. That's so, there is, oh, is that what it is? But the problem comes is, in the United States, the news people go home Friday evening and they don't come back until Monday morning. So, you try to find entertainment news over the weekend, it does not well, exist. The, the press check-in for the LACMA rock was at 1 a.m. I know. So, guess where they were. Yeah. <laughs> and it didn't show up until 4.25. No, I know. And, then you, that pro and it was not exactly warm last night, so they must have had a real fun time. Oh, and speaking of time, I don't know about you, but daylight savings time? Oh, it hit today, everybody. They said that daylight saving time has more accidents than any other day of the year because people, um, they're, what happens is they, they for, the people that are doing things forget about the move forward and they're basically rushing to do things and that, you know, the, the, they can't get their internal clock set that quick, so. And Santorum scores an easy win at Kansas caucuses. Don't worry. Uh, the election was declared officially over by the Republican leadership today because mathematically uh, Romney has won. Romney, uh, okay, Romney has to get 56% of all of the delegates to win the election, mm -hmm. to win the primary. Uh, what's his name? Santorum has to get 64%. That's almost within the margin of error mathematically to start with. If Romney has, okay. Romney picked up as many delegates as Santorum did uh, yesterday, which is impossible because Rom they gave Romney an extra delegate in Wyoming, which he didn't win, uh, and it's being challenged because the, uh, the whole, once again, the he won by 101 votes. And then he picked up delegates in, in Kansas, which he, all, he finished last in Kansas and got 23 delegates the same amount of delegates as Santorum did. That's impossible. Syria's Assad meets Anon, but gives little ground. Because Assad, as long as he controls the port of Damascus, gives ground to no one. Because that is the entry, other than the Suez Canal, that's the entryway into the Arabian world. And China sacrifices growth to satiate inflation dragon. Yeah, because they're uh, basically what they're doing is what the United States is doing. They've been pumping, they've been printing money. Okay, here's a good thing. What is the one thing the United States is selling a lot of? What? Printing presses. Oh. And because they need our presses to print their money in these countries that like uh, Germany and France and Russia, they're using our presses to print their money on so that they can uh, keep, you know, it's, all the money in the world is worthless at the moment. I mean, I heard a guy say the other day that that the uh, reason Fort Knox is locked up like it is because there's nothing in it anymore, which means our money has no backing. And servicemen dis detained in Afghanistan over civilian casualties. Yeah, because what happened was a guy got finally pissed off at, at what's going on and just let him have it. No, don't worry though. The President of the United States is calming things down again by apologizing for the United States and turning a soldier over to the Afghans for trial, which basically Leon Panetta, which has been butt-kissing to the President, said you can't do that, Mr. President. That is a violation of our rules of conduct. Oh. Yeah. And Greece eyes elections after death. All out of office. <laughs> this is the whole thing. I mean, anybody with the right mind says, well, we're going to solve this debt crisis by unemploying 160,000 people. Um, 160, they, what are they gonna, how are they gonna make money to pay the bills? They can't, you can't tax people that aren't working. So in order to pay the bills, we're going to raise taxes and fire people. And John Carter may just make its money back. Oh God, it's made $100 million this weekend, mostly almost out of, three times more in the, out of this country. But it's just, it's him. Uh, okay, by, book, by Hollywood bookkeeping, no, it's impossible because to make his money back, it has to make seven, eight hundred million dollars. It has to make to make his money back. Yeah, because the challenge back. with the film John Carter was that it was what 
250 estimated 275 million and they think that they uh they if they take closer to 325 and they think they pumped another 50 million for advertising into it to try to rejigger it that the whole thing is i heard it was never made for the united states because uh the uh was it the girl from texas that plays the female princess from mars lynn collins yeah had to she had to learn a british accent for the role oh she did which meant it was never aimed for the united states to begin with Oh, well, you know, they did have, I mean, a lot of it was filmed in Britain. All of it, but the but the scenes they shot in Utah yeah. were shot. I mean, it was all the scenes in Utah were basically this with uh, a few main actors, and that was all, so. And a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, this is one I'm pissed off about. Uh, you, you do not need the government to tell you how you should be charitable. 